Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. We're here to do a love reading, Sun and Rising and Venus. Welcome if you're new and welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope everyone's well. The energy in the recent past for you, Leo, is Eight of Pentacles. You have been working on your night moves, your love moves, your everything moves. You are highly invested in getting to know somebody in the recent past. The Ace of Cups, your person, their energy with you is the Ace of Cups. It looks like many of you are starting new love. The Four of Swords is how your person sees the situation. So what I'm seeing is that both of you are in this sort of healing mode. So the two of you could have had a bit of a falling out or a stumble in the relationship. But of course, we'll clarify with the table shot when we get the basic lay of the land here. The world card, how your person views you. Leo, they see you as their final destination in love. They see you as a person with whom they'd like to spend the rest of their life. The world card is the best card in the deck. It's the highest level of ascension. So they see you as a person with whom they can ascend. The five of swords is how your person is feeling in their heart space. They are upset. Five of swords energy is also someone who could take advantage of you. After the four of swords, we're going to the five of swords so that is weird because you're going from healing into conflict. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. What's the story here? Okay, so what do we see as your person's view of the future with you? How do they see that? The Three of Cups, friendship. Oof. All right, not exactly the card that we most want to see. Friend zone. Let's see. Okay. So let's see, Leo, what we have hidden in your energy at this time. We have the Queen of Cups. You're very much in love. You're very much in love with somebody. Whoever you came to the reading to ask about. Here we go, the Eight of Cups. So it does look like for most of you, you're taking a break from each other or you're apart. Somebody could be traveling, but the Five of Swords says it looks like there's been some sort of conflict or argument, and both of you seem to be at an impasse, is what I would say. The Lover's Card is your outcome card. It is making a choice. It's, it looks to me as though the two of you make the choice to be together. So I'm going to give you the table shot, and we will go ahead and clarify all the cards. All right, Leo, let's take a look and see what is going on here. You clearly have had some sort of difficult situation. Okay, so why do we have the Eight of Pentacles? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So in the recent past, the two of you really felt that you were doing great together. You could have worked together with the Eight of Coins. It shows that this is a card that's like getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Both of you are very, very happy in the spotlight. It looks like your relationship was very much out in the open. You spent a lot of time together. It looks as though both of you like to be in the spotlight, being in the limelight. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the current energy between the two of you? Why is that here? It's a new beginning in love. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Destiny. Destiny is smiling on you, Leo, in love. After a time of healing, let's see, why were you healing? Why did you need to heal? What was this? Why is it here? The Four of Swords, being in love very deeply. Being overwhelmed. Ooh, somebody lied. Okay. So there was some sort of dishonesty when we get the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Leo, it looks like your person was not fair to you. It looks as though they took advantage of a situation. We're going to go ahead and find out what that's about. Okay. So let's see how they, how they view you. They view you as somebody who's moving very slowly and very methodically in this situation. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Six of Swords, okay. So weird. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? 
Let's look and see. Why is that Seven of Swords here? What could this person... So it looks like your person is healing from what they feel was a lie. Oh, look at the Lover's card again, as well as the Page of Pentacles. So I'm getting that it looks like there was an argument here. Your person's really angry. Whether they're accurate or not, it looks like they think that you told them a lie about some sort of plans, that maybe you were choosing somebody else, or that you were two-timing them, that you may have had more than them as a lover. Okay, so that energy is here, though. It is here. Okay, so why is the Five of Swords energy here? So we get the Scorpio King. We also get the energy of the Aquarius King. Your person is really trying to be very cool, calm, and collected. They're trying to keep their balance. They're trying to heal. You know, it's. Um, I'm going to do a little sidebar reading here. Uh, in just a moment to see what really happened because feelings aren't always accurate, right? So I definitely want to see how that came about. So they've put you in the friend zone and you feel as though they have another lover. That's how I'm reading this. They feel as though, Leo, that you are a player, that you put them in the friend zone, that you packed up and you took off. I wouldn't say that you've ghosted them, but you stopped putting effort into the relationship. And the cards that fell out of the deck are very important because it shows that you are no longer romantic with this person. And it is you, Leo. Here you are in your reading, okay? So it's very interesting that your person feels as though you gave up, you stopped being romantic, and yet you didn't tell them. It looks like you didn't tell them, or that's their interpretation, okay? So it looks like there could be a huge misunderstanding, there could be a huge, um, there could be cheating here, quote unquote, or choosing someone else. So very, very intense energy with two different lovers to choose from. Okay, so why do we have the Queen of the Queen of Cups here? The Queen of Cups is here twice as a clarifier and as a hidden energy. All right, so they feel, Leo, your person feels, and you feel. I think this is mutual. I really feel, and you tell me, please, in the comments, if both of you are thinking the other person had a fling or an affair because you both love each other. This is the energy, this is mutual energy currently, mutual energy that's hidden. You both feel as though you might have to make a different choice. Spirit is saying take a break here, oh my gosh, the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Spirit is actually saying to walk away. Why is Spirit saying walk away? For both of you, walk away. Why, 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 why? This is kind of a thorny reading. The Four of Wands, it looks like somebody's married. So I see a couple of different scenarios here. I'm getting that for some of you, you could be walking away from a marriage to be with each other. For others of you, you're walking away from each other because in the relationship you both strayed and found someone else. What's coming to light right now is that you both still love each other. And now it's a very thorny issue because it looks like the two of you have to figure this out. Leo, you and your person. Okay, so do you and your person still love each other? Let's look at that. I'm going for a straight yes, no answer here. Do you and your person mutually love each other and want to be together? Are you choosing each other as lovers, if I'm reading this correctly? No competition and no equal give and take, okay. Okay, the Two of Swords, you're having a fight. You are having a grand fight with a soulmate. It's really difficult. We have more than one soulmate, but this is a very complicated reading. Okay, so let's look and see. Let's do a mini Celtic for the two of you. Are you, is, is this, the two of you choosing each other as lovers, even though most, both of you may have been 
stepping beyond the boundaries of your relationship with other people. Okay, what? This is a couple's reef, five card Celtic. King of Pentacles energy, stable. Taurus energy, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, are you choosing each other is a question here to clarify this. Good, the seed of life. Manifesting each other, the devil energy. Yep, here's what that's what I thought. So the bo both of you actually look as though you have played sort of a, I wouldn't say played a game, but you let your relationship become too toxic. The wheel of fortune, destiny has turned in the direction of the Ten of Wands that both, this is really heavy. It looks as though there's some very tricky energy here. It looks as though both of you may have stepped out on the other or have been talking to other people or have had a relationship with another person. It's like you still love each other and yet we have the Four of Pentacles. You're not really giving to the relationship or the situation. The Queen of Cups, yet again, you really love each other. This is a super big dilemma. This is a big dilemma. Your outcome card is a King of Wands, the glowing white stag. So Leo, you're going to be the one that makes the final decision on how this relationship goes. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you to see what the Spirit advice is for you in this situation. Spirit does recommend that you walk away, though, from each other. So that's really quite interesting given the fact that both of you have you know, lovers. You both are choosing each other as lovers, and yet you're not really, you're not doing it. It's like you're not quite coming together. Leo, again, this is ultimately going to be your decision. So let's see what we need to know. Take a deep breath is the, is the advice of spirit. Take a deep breath, Leo. Take a deep breath. This is very intense because there's no way you can leave this person behind without being wounded. It looks as though your person put you in the friend zone so you feel pretty comfortable. Divine Matrix, you're definitely going to let Spirit basically handle this for you, okay? It's a good idea. You're in this energy that says if Spirit takes this person out of my life, then they're gone. And we have the tall tale. Oh, man. What both of you are suffering from is a tall tale. It looks as though your person may have cheated on you, that they were at least dishonest. They told you a tall tale. Both of you still love each other. Let's look and see what the advice from the Moonology Oracle is for this relationship. Should Leo give it a try because it's going to be Leo's decision. Balance spirituality and practicality. So that is your answer, Leo. Sending a love. Let me know in the comments below what happened. Thanks.